game beard. All right, let's talk about jeweling effects. So you'll notice here, this is my uh, Cthulhu Wars. Uh, I forget who this is. It's somebody. Anyways, he's a monster. You like that? And um, he's got these eyes, and they're kind of like jewels. And they look kind of like jewels. Now, these these jewels are, are big, right? So you technically, I probably could have gone in and really cherried out that little jewel. But, uh, you know, I didn't. So let's see, but on the center one, what do I have? I've got a base color blue, so it's like blue. Then I got a dark blue and it kind of goes to black. And I got a little white highlight. But then I have this little bit of reflective light. They call it reflective light. So it's kind of like a light blue. The light blue is not as bright as the highlight, which is white. And that's important to know. Um, the reflective light kind of represents uh, um, light hitting another part of this creature and then shining back in and it kind of does a little reflection there. And usually metals or, or chromes, really, chrome or highly reflective surfaces or like a jewel uh, will do that. Now, one thing I did on this big uh, Cthulhu monster is I also uh, put a little bit of gloss on top. So I put a little gloss on top because I'm big on the gloss. Um, but technically, if this is a real tiny jewel um, and you do these little highlights, you know, technically you don't have to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put him away. Let's look at some other examples here. Um, probably the most infamous for uh, jeweling is, you know, uh, Eldar, right? And so let's see, let's see what we got here. Now these are these are ones I've done like years ago, right? I don't. Even, is this like fourth edition? Like who knows how old this is? And these are pretty tiny. Let's see if you can even see that jewel on his chest there. Not much. I mean that thing's pretty friggin' tiny. Um, so when they're this small, um, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> Here you can kind of see them on his head. These are tiny. Now this model looks huge because I'm holding it close to the camera. This thing is tiny. I can't even, can't even see it like with my bare, I mean, I can see it with my bare eyes, barely. But like I'm looking on my computer screen also at the same time and it's like, oh yeah, I can see them. I can see the highlights in there. So what did I do way back in the day when I had better vision? Um, you know, I start with the base color and then I did the dark, like a little dot of dark. And then I, I don't know how I got that, that highlight white so tiny, but I'm a beep, little, like little bit of white highlight in there and same with these. But what I would recommend is if you have an Eldar figure or somebody with many jewels, do them all at the same time. So like I did green, so I'll like base green. So green, 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 green. Go all around green, green. Oh my gosh, green. There's like a million of these jewels. Wow, I got one here too. Green. Then I go, uh, you know, dark, like dark green or black. So like I'd probably mix um, a little bit of black with dark green. I go like black, 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 black. Then I go the highlights. It's like, oh my gosh. Here, I kind of have these jewels like for his eyes. I didn't use any... Um, Gloss, but I think gloss might look kind of nice there. I don't know. But that's what it looks like if you don't use a gloss. Like, I didn't use a gloss on top of it. Um, this is flat. But because of the painted highlights, it looks reflective or glossy. So I don't know. There he is. All right. I got another one. He's kind of similar. These are so tiny. I don't know. Sometimes you can barely just... um. I would try though, I would try to, so if, if they're really tiny like this, I would try to go base, dark, highlight, and then forget about the reflective light. I don't know. Okay, there's that guy. Let's see, I got a Wraith Guard. It's the old school Wraith Guard. He's got a million of those. Oh, oh, I can't believe how tiny this thing is, but it looks big on the screen. So here you can see a blue one. So you see I've got, uh, uh, maybe I have a reflective light, but it's like blue, dark blue, white, and then a real reflective light, like a light blue. But man, what a pain. Oh, here I added, re resist this. Like, look what I did here. I added, um, for fun, I, I got all happy with these highlights. I added a second highlight. I don't know, they look kind of fake. I kind of did it here, too. I was getting all excited. Like a big one, little one. I don't know, I'd resist that. I didn't, um, I didn't put any gloss on these. The paints were slightly glossy. And they're so tiny. So I don't think I need them. Okay, that's that. So let's see. Um, 
Oh, and let me show you these guys. So these are Battletech, and Battletech, um, I want to do, I just want to do a glossy canopy, and so a lot of people jewel these canopies too, and um, they look pretty good. They put a lot of work to them. I must admit that the canopies are a really nice touch to these mechs. Well, what did I, what do I do on my mechs? I make all my canopies a color. Just like so it's kind of like a shield right so I do I typically do red and I just did red but then I did a little bit of um, black in there just in the back black I didn't add a white highlight and then what I did is I put gloss so I just did red a little bit of black I tried to water it down kind of black so it's kind of gets a little darker there and then when that's all dry I'll do gloss 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 I just gloss it and what happens is that the light shining on it gives me a nice if I have like a highlight, it'll give me a highlight on my glass. So I don't, I don't typically jewel these mechs as much. Here's a, here, here, he's got a big one. So again, same thing, but you can see like there's like a, here. So there's like a highlight there, right? That's like from the light, the light itself, the lamp. So, but anyways, I did, you know, I just did red and then I did, I did, I did like watered down black in here, you know, and I let it dry and then I, um, I glossed it and I like the result of the gloss it you know I get those highlights right they're kind of natural now a lot of people love to go in there and jewel these things and make them detailed I mean that's that's cool more power to you but I feel I feel with um especially I think I, I think I, I like these more because they're canopies and canopies tend to be shiny and so I use the gloss it kind of gives it a different surface like this is shiny because this is glass this the body is not as shiny because that's like paint or whatever painted camo and so I, I like I like that contrast more than the than the artificially painted um, jeweling of canopies but people love doing that with their mechs so more power to you I'm not I'm not judging I'm not judging that's just the way I do it okay well let's let's see here um, here I've got gosh I, I think you've seen enough okay so here um, here I've, I've got a what this is like a chaos, uh, is this a demolisher? It's been so long. Um, it's been sitting on my shelf. Now, what I, so I, I start with a solid color first. You see, I got some different colors. I'm only gonna do the red. I'm only gonna do the red in there. Oh my gosh, my paint's already drying out. This is delightful. And then what I'm gonna do is, um, but what, oh, what I recommend though is before you paint, um, before you paint that color in there, either A, paint it white before you paint the red, or B, like I dry brushed a lot of the silver, so this was pretty bright. And so I was just able to paint the the red color on top and it, it was bright. If you paint, like if you have a black base, like if you have black and you paint red on it, it's not gonna be that bright. So I definitely recommend um, either dry brushing this stuff, like whether it's a light gray or a silver, or just, or just paint these white, then go back and paint them the color they are, whether it's red, blue, green. Okay, so, oh my gosh, my paint's running out. So let me go for my, pff, it's already dried out. That's delightful. Okay, so I've got my um, my reflected light. Normally I don't paint the reflected light first, but my reflective light paint is drying. So here we go. I'm just going to add, oh boy, I can't even see what I'm doing here. There. Oh my gosh, that's it, barely. And then I don't even know if I can get my brush in there. barely okay and then let's see normally I do the second this thing is so tiny like I, I may not even sometimes if they're that small I may not even put reflective light but I'm gonna try Ooh, my paints all drying let me try again <laughs> okay still not working let me try one more time okay I got some paint Barely. Okay. Oh, and then I got I got an eye over here. You want to make it like a line. Okay. Maybe. And usually it's kind of lower. Did I do it? It's good enough. Now, if you have a big gem, I could. Oh, I don't even have any red handy. I got. Uh, nope. But I was going to say, I could go back in and, uh, 
Let's see if this is gonna work. I can paint it back in red. Do it. Nope, it's too wet. Um, but yeah, I would probably do that. Like if you want that to get a little thinner. It looks pretty th thick right there, but boy, that is a tiny gem. I can barely even see it. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, now I'm going for black. Now, technically, I could mix this with like a uh, color. Like I can mix the black with the red. Um, what I like to do is I just like to water down. The problem is this isn't watered down as much. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's off camera that I'm mixing this. Okay, so it's just barely. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Oh, okay. Gosh, I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna throw a little bit in this in this green too. A little bit there, a little bit in the blue. When they're this small, black black's okay. I give you permission to do black. Black gives you the most contrast too. Technically, I could use my micron pen. Oh, I got a little one down here. The real trick is getting the white highlight there, and it has to be tiny. Okay, let's look at my camera because I can see better here. Yeah, I need a little more down here. But I mean, that's basically it. So you base color, here I'll do this one. Base color, black or dark, reflective light, and then you're gonna do the highlight. That is so tiny. It looks so huge on the screen. You're like, that's easy, Dave, what are you talking about? No, this thing is super tiny. <laughs> I can't even see that thing. Okay, so now it's time to get to the white. So let's see, let's see what we can do here with white. I gotta really wash out my brush here. Okay, oh, and hopefully that'll dry. What inspired me to do this, but I didn't even do it, is I got these guys. So I've been working on these guys, and these guys, their eyes are practically jewels. Um, maybe I'll do this real quick while that's drying for a sec. Um, you know, and maybe this will show me, you know, or show you how sometimes I, I wash it a little, try to blend it. Let me see, I can add a little bit of water. Let's see. You don't want to have too much water, though. But when you got these big jewels, let's see what I can do here. You can kind of, um, oh, maybe I should move that out of the way so I can uh, do this, so you can see what I'm doing. You know, I might, it's kind of watery, I might, see, it's so hard to, to blend it. But I'm trying to, it's watery, and then what I'll do is I'll go blacker near the top. But usually that shadow, that dark, it's usually in the upper, well, it's near the top. Usually, you know, sometimes it's just in the upper left a little. I don't know. Kind of like that. Okay. But then maybe I would go darker and go a little darker, like right here. I don't even know if you can tell. Let's see here. No, it looks kind of the same. Well, one thing I could do is, I mean, I, these are so big. I could have gone like dark brown with a little bit of black, and then I could have added this black at the end. But I didn't really want to do that. But you could have done that. I mean, it's it's worthwhile to do stuff like that on bigger gems like this. And I got a million of them, so I probably could have, I probably could have done that. I only have two of these guys, and uh, I don't know. It's good enough. Okay, but that's I'm not gonna do them all. But that's a work in progress. I don't like the ruby red. I used like a ruby red, and I want it to be more like a whatever, like what a vampire red or you know, you know, purple red, a magenta red. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see if I can add those little white highlights. These aren't so tough though. You probably you probably already figured out. You could probably look at they. You know, they probably have this stuff in like games like uh, White Dwarf, right? Well, but hey, I made a video out of it. How about that? I would recommend though, like, um, I mean, if you're really lazy, you could just paint them solid colors and then paint, uh, you know, gloss on it. That's pretty lazy. I do recommend if you're paying a lot of money for your Warhammer models that you just jewel them, just jewel them. Okay. So now I got a lot of paint on my brush 
<laughs> so I'm going for the big ones first. So let's see, this is a big one. I'm going to barely touch it, and I can barely tell the depth there. Oh, got it. Now that was, unfortunately, that was more in the center. Oh, well, but I'm going to leave it. It's so tiny. I want to get more. Oh, too big. Did you see that? Oh, that was embarrassing. Okay, okay, check, check. Well, there's less paint on my brush now, so let's see, I'm going to go for the green. Okay, oh, that was a good one. Check, check, tiny one. Check. See, now there's less paint on my on my tiny brush. Okay. Check. I wonder if I can just wipe this off. Oh, I can't. Whoa. Okay, well, that's good. Maybe that mistake will show me, show me, show you how to fix that. Okay, let's go for this big one here. Very carefully. Man. <sighs> okay, so I did mess up here. So let's let that dry. Um, those are those are kind of hard to do. What can I say? So I'm going to try my Micron pen to kind of touch that up. The problem is that's to dry, although it seemed like it was drying pretty good. Let's go straight for the Micron. So let's see, I need my Micron black. Gosh, here's a 1, but I really need a 0 0.005. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if this writes. Okay, it's writing barely. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Barely see. I just want to add a little more black in there. Okay, that's kind of working. Oh. Wow. Okay, I can even add maybe a little more black here. Okay, I think I need a little more black on this green. On this blue. Okay, let's see. Better. That white's still pretty big. I'm, I'm worried now. Now I'm worried. If I do too much black, it's going to disappear completely. Let's see. Not bad. This thing is tiny. It looks huge on my camera. You're like, dude, Dave, it's huge. Like, you got a huge white spot there. But when I put this on the table, you will not be able to see that. Okay, let's see. This one was pretty good. I wonder if I can just use my Micron to add a little more black in here. I'm just going to maybe try to dab it. I can't even see what I'm doing. Yeah, that was almost a little too much. But yeah, that's it. So, I mean, okay, so what do we have here? So we have base color, whether it's red or green or blue, right? So base color. And I recommend you paint white underneath it or or you're dry brushing, like even if it's silver, so it's not just black. Don't, don't do it on black. If you have a white model, then that's fine. You can just paint the jewel, right? Just solid color. But you want to have a bright base color. Then, then you're going to go black. Usually you go black first or darker. It's like a dark color. Usually it's black. Black, especially if they're tiny, black will show up better. Then you want to have a reflected color right in here. So it's usually it's like you mix your base color, so I have red, so I, I mixed, um, I just mixed this, it's like, what is this, Midland Flesh, it's kind of like a peach, I mixed, I mixed peach with my red instead of white with my red, if I mixed white, I would have had more of a pink, but this is more, I don't know, it's more warm, it's slightly warm, but it's up to you, like if I was going to do blue, I would pick that blue color, maybe I would just mix a teeny bit of white with that, white and green, you know, I don't know. But that's it. Um, but then if you mess up, if you make your white spot too big, micron pens, you can go in and carefully do it. I recommend the, um, what I recommend though is that if you use your micron pen, that you don't put gloss on top of that because like the gloss will smear the micron pen around. It might make it darker, but if you're careful, you might just blob it like, boop, 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 like just touch it. Then you, it is, if you're painting it on though, it might it spread the black around. Um, but these are pretty good. These are so tiny. I don't think I need to add gloss to these because they look big on camera. But those things are tiny. And the fact that I painted the white and the, tried to do the reflective, it looks pretty good from a distance. It looks good. Remember, you're gonna be you're not gonna be holding this up to your face typically uh, in a game. So those look pretty good. I got all, it's kind of goofy with all those different colors there though. I didn't I didn't really want to make them all red. Normally I like to go all red, but I figure, well, I've got to have a little bit of a blue in there and maybe a green. 
I don't know. Anyways, but there they are. So that's Juuling. Juuling could be a lot of fun. Oh, and let's just talk about a little more reflective stuff right here. So, um, let's see. Here's, I don't know, there's like a little drone, uh, you know, a little Dr. Drone um, objective counter from 8th edition, right? 40K. Anyways, let's see. What did I do here? Oh, here you can see I kind of painted. Um, so I painted like, I don't know, like a, like a magenta, you know, red, and then a little bit of black kind of near the top. But then I put that highlight on top, just real thin white highlight. But then I also did do a little gloss. I did a little bit of gloss on this because um, it's supposed to be like a, a you know glass glass container. I kind of did the same with his little syringe here. So it's like let's see, I got a little bit little bit of a couple highlights there, a little bit of green. Oh, that one's a little too big. I could have you know gone in with my black micron you know. But then I did do a little bit of gloss. And then this thing I'm kind of I like. It's like I painted this. Um, you know, this is supposed to be a light, a light, right? And it's supposed to be old and gross. And so I just, I roughly painted this thing white, kind of dry brush. But then I put some um, gloss on it. I just painted some gloss on. And it looks like an old, you know, lamp that's either A, turned off, or it just looks like shiny glass. Maybe not so much in the video. But it was, it was a nice effect. So I like to use gloss on glass and effects, stuff like that. So in the past, I've used... Um, well, in the past, I've used this coat to arms, and Vallejo's probably the best. I couldn't, I haven't been able to grab a Vallejo yet, but this is running out. I bought this, but this looks pretty janky. Should I try it? Let's try it. Oh, I don't know. It looks good. The bottle, it looks like it's yellowing, though. That's kind of freaking me out. Should I, should I do one of these guys? Let's see. Here. I'm sure it's going to work fine. His army painter. I want to get it in his eyes. His eyes are so tiny. Here, I'll just do this, Jewel. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's working fine. What I really want to try is my Farseer. Let's see here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna gloss it here. Oh yeah, it looks nice. I like it. I like to I like to add these. I like the I like the um I like the contrast between the flat the flat armor and the shiny glass or gold. I, I, I just it's just a nice touch that I I like. So if you think you might like that, definitely pick up some gloss. Whether it's I recommend Vallejo, but um, this appears to be working pretty good. And um, in the past, I mean this is I don't even know if you can get coat of arms. This is old stuff. So, but anyways, maybe in Europe you can get this? I don't know. I don't know, but it works pretty good. So that's Juuling. Um, hopefully that was informative. You probably, you know, like I said, Juuling's not that tough, but it was a fun little video to make. So I'll talk to you next time, and we'll have a new topic um, in our basic tutorial series. Talk to you then. Bye.